hoping to do is have on September 6th, the first football game, there were 1,500 cans that were wow. raised by these ambassadors and by Principal Murray. Um, so Bridgewater State continuing to show our commitment. We are, in fact, Superintendent, if you'd like to come forward as well. We are, in fact, their, their campaign is five for five to end hunger. And so what we've done today is through the staff, we have just one of, of several cans as well as the five for five um, the actual donation. So if I could um, have President Clark, Principal Murray, and the students. Um, and and in, in each of you, hold one of these up in your hands. These will go on their social media. Anybody else here? I'm going to have you guys move right nice and close. I'm not. Here we go. Anybody else? Right, I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> Which camera, Mary? Which camera? <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't you have to look at me in the back? If you can fill in the little windows here, so I can see, actually see you. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> you put those five All right, looking right here. Ready, one, two, three. And again, ready, one, two, three. Thank you guys. So on our campus, we do have a food bank, and so our understanding of our students, um, thank you for being here. We look forward to seeing you at the Charity Guild. So um, I'm assuming I'm going to leave these with you, Jody, and we can get them over to um, the Main Street location. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here today to officially kind of commemorate um, what has been an ongoing relationship with Bridgewater State University. The connections between that school and Brockton High and the community of Brockton is very strong and this is just another a way to strengthen those connections and to continue to build that relationship. I just told President Clark that my career in education actually started Bridgewater State. I was a post -box student there in the middle schools with Dr. Robinson and then actually got a job at East uh, Junior High with Mr. Thomas in that group. So, Bridgewater State is very near and dear to my heart, and I think uh, this is a way for us to expose students who may not be thinking about college or may have some questions about a career to engage with professionals at the collegiate level on a regular daily basis. So we're very excited about this, and at this time I'd like to introduce <coughs> President Clark from Bridgewater State University. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cliff. I also want to uh, thank the mayor for being here. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, for your partnership. Thank the superintendent of schools, who uh, is our longtime friend as well. Representative Jerry Cassidy is here. I know we have folks from the Brockton School Committee that are here. Uh, we have other dignitaries from Brockton High School. Thank you so much for your partnership. I have to uh, thank Mary Waldron. She's all of our boss. If you don't know that, we all work for Mary Waldron. I like to say, Mary, thank you. We, uh, Mary and I have been working together for literally decades. So what I love about Mary is she gets things done. And that's really what we're all about, getting things done. I also want to thank our Bridgewater folks that are here as well. We have a uh, vice president here. We have all, just about all of our deans are here as well. We have faculty that are here and staff. Um, financial aid is represented. Aviation is represented, uh, admissions is represented, our Center for Multicultural Affairs is represented, student success is represented as well. Thank you, Bridgewater, uh, for making this happen as well. We have had a long, long partnership with Brockton High School. And actually, what we're doing today is, I think, unique. It's probably unique in Massachusetts. I don't know if it's unique beyond Massachusetts, but I have not heard in my many years in higher ed of any higher ed institution physically having a presence at a high school, a very important local high school. And uh, I just want to say that we're always proud to be first. And, uh, and I think it'll be impactful. We're already doing so much with Brockton High School. Um, it, it's almost too long of a list to repeat, but to physically be here, to physically be a resource to the administration of Brockton High, but more importantly to the students of Brockton High is what today really is all about. We will, um, through this office, continue the work we're doing with uh, Brockton High and Massasoit and others for 100 males to college. 
We will continue the work that we're doing with the Bridge Partnership Program. We have had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I think we've actually crossed a thousand students um, that have that have uh, participated in Bridge and Footbridge. Footbridge, by the way, if you don't know, is for fifth graders. Bridge is for seventh and eighth graders, and we've been doing it for over seven years now. So many of those students are already in high school here. We'll be and what we'll be doing with them is continuing mentoring here at the high school as well. Um, just last year and this year again and going forward, we've, we've issued 10 $1,000 scholarships for Brockton High students who do uh, intend to uh, at attend Bridgewater State. I do it if they went to Stonehill, but Stonehill's got more money than we do, so <laughs> that's going to be for us. <clears throat> We're also going to provide financial aid counseling right here, too, for students, and I think that's a benefit. And again, uh, for those students, we don't really care if they go to Bridgewater State or anywhere else. We just want to provide uh, advice and counsel because what I've witnessed, and I'm sure the superintendent and the principal and others have witnessed, is students think that they can't afford college. And I promise you, every student can afford college, but sometimes you just have to sit down with pen and paper and show them. Right, Laura Beekler? So that's what we intend to do. We have an aviation program. We call it Gateway to the Airways, and we already have 12 Brockton High students in that program as well. We want to diversify pilots. We want to diversify those in the aviation industry. Uh, and, and thank you, Lauren Heron, for the work that you're already doing with the 12 current students. Center for Multicultural Affairs will be here as well, I've, as I mentioned. Sydney Marrow, who runs that center, is here as well. The Institute for Cape Verdean Studies will do some work here. They already have. <clears throat> and now they'll have a place to actually continue that work. By the way, <clears throat> our Institute for Cape Verdean Studies, the only institute of its kind anywhere in the world. We're very proud of our partnership in Cape Verde. Um, and last, the other aspect of diversifying that we want to work on, we don't have enough teachers of color. We don't. And, and that's no one's fault, really, except that we have to work on the pipeline. Um, there's not enough students interested in going to teaching. <clears throat> and at Bridgewater State, our whole um, College of Education, only 10% of our students are students of color. But at Bridgewater writ large, about 30% of our students are students of color. We can do better. And in Gateway Cities in Southeastern Mass, only 8% of all of the teachers teaching in all the Gateway Cities in Southeastern Mass are teachers of color. We have to do more. And I want to thank, I want to thank our friend, our lost friend, Mayor Bill Carpenter, because I probably met with him, I, I, I've lost track, dozens and dozens and dozens of time, times. Every time we talked, every single time, we always let off with, what can we do to help diversify the teaching ranks, and we called it a Grow Your Own Teachers program. And um, <clears throat> we weren't able to finish the work because he was taking, taken from us far too soon. But today I want to announce that Bridgewater State, beginning next year, um, will host two teachers, teacher candidates, um, graduates of Brockton High, chosen by the principal, that's important. They truly have to be aspiring teachers, and we, that's where the principal will come in. So we will offer two full scholarships to graduates of Brockton High that aspire to be teachers who will attend Bridgewater State University. Thank you. And lastly, I, would, I want you to know that those scholars will be called Carpenter Scholars, and we're happy to host. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, President Clark. It's a very generous, very generous and very exciting opportunity for Brockton High School and for these students. And now may I introduce uh, Interim Superintendent Thomas. Thank you. Um, as a graduate of Brockton High and also as, of Bridgewater State University, I'm proud today of the partnership that Bridgewater has always had with the Brockton Public Schools, not only at Brockton High, at our middle schools, also our elementary schools. Uh, with Mary Waldron, President Clark, uh, Dr. Murray, our principal, and Mayor Carpenter at the time started talking about this partnership and a location here at Brockton High back last February. Um, and it turned out to be this and with the scholarship. It's just amazing. We can't thank you enough for what you do for the Brockton Public Schools. Our best teachers are teachers that graduated from Brockton High. Um, so it's very important for us to have a grow your own program because we do need teachers, more teachers of color teaching 
our students here in the Brockton Public Schools. It's one of my major goals as the interim superintendent, and this will just help it grow even more. So I want to thank Bridgewater State. I want to thank President Clark, Dr. Murray. I also want to thank uh, Tom Minicello, who's here with us today, uh, vice chair of the school committee. I want to thank um, Mayor Rodriguez. I think I saw Ann Beauregard come in, uh, City Council Ward 5, and uh, Jerry Cassidy, our state rep, for the work that they do promoting our schools and fighting to get funding for us at the city level and at the state level. So we really appreciate you being here today. Again, thank you, President Clark, for your partnership. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Thomas. And please, may we have Mayor Rodriguez come up and say some words? Good morning. <clears throat> Uh, I too graduated from this, uh, the best, <laughs> the best high school in the universe. And as a matter of fact, this is actually my house. And it's, uh, it's nice that actually this center will be located in my former house. And, but I just want to, I just want to thank everybody that actually took, uh, that partayed in this, uh, in bringing this program to the city to make this high school even better. Uh, I think it, it affords our students an opportunity to talk to some people within the building that will guide them in the, in the future of their education. Um, because as, as it's been mentioned here, we can, we, can, we can use some more Brocktonians in the teaching ranks uh, within this uh, great school system that we have. Um, and the fact that we have one of the, one of the better, the best uh, teaching universities in the area uh, helping us out uh, I, I'm in awe, basically, you know, and the scholarships that you just offered, again, I'm in awe because often we spend a great deal of time talking about uh, giving scholarships to students because they're great athletes, uh, they're get, they, they've gotten awesome grades, but this is basically something, you know, to offer scholarship to individuals who are dedicated to become great teachers. So for that, I thank you very much for doing this. I thank the school community for doing this. I thank the city for supporting it. Mary, continue to pull for your for your city you know how things are we know how to do this but I want to thank everybody for being here and um, I, I pledge our support from city government to support this as best as we can uh, perhaps as we uh, move along you know this becomes a model for the whole uh, for the whole state but at the same time we want it to succeed in our city to get bigger and better so that we can support and help more students in the city thank you very much for having us and I appreciate it. Thank you everyone for coming. I hope you'll check out the Resource Center and please, we have refreshments. Oh, excuse me, I think Mary has, oh, we have the ribbon cutting, which is why we're here. <laughs>